YouTube, I got a lot of stuff going on today. So I got my man right here from Verizon and uh, he's about to install the Fios. And right here, they got the Fios box. So this is the Fios box, it says no peak. And this has the router and it has the cable boxes in it. So we're going to get this badass installation rolling. Now, my makeshift uh, bedroom, because I'm going to change my bedroom later on. Right now, I'm thinking about putting the Fios router over there on that side. And I'm thinking about uh, wiring all the way across the room to my computer desk right here, as you can see. And then what I'm gonna do for now, because this room, I intend to change this to a dining room, but I'm gonna mount 32 inch television right here on the wall. So I was watching some YouTube videos about how to mount stuff on the wall. That's one of the reasons why I got this toolkit. And uh, basically this is the stud sensor and the mounting bracket that I has, it says, Okay, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to place it, because I've never done this shit before. So you're supposed to place the stud sensor against the wall, it goes green, and then you slide it until you get a red beep. And that tells you where the, yeah, that tells you where the edge of a stud is. So there must be a stud right about there. And then what you're supposed to do is you find the other edge. This is some this is some high tech shit right here, but now I see nothing. Wait, let me try that again. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait let me try that again. This is this is really confusing. I'm gonna figure it out. It's no big deal. <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out. But um, that room is gonna be a dining room, and I'm gonna move my bed out of there. So I got Sears is coming to take this piece of shit, old refrigerator. This thing's garbage. They're going to throw this out. They're going to bring in a new refrigerator. And then I got a washer and dryer coming from Sears. So right over here, as you can see, I, I was thinking I didn't need a very, very big television. So for that room, because it's just going to be like a dining room, I figured, okay, I'll just get a small television. So I decided to get this 32-inch uh, Vizio D-Series, which is pretty much a match for my 50-inch D-Series. And in this room right here, I got Verizon is going to uh, set up the Fios. And I'm going to put a cable box there. And this is all makeshift stuff. This is just temporary because I have a lot more work I want to do in here. But you see this big, huge space right here? This big, huge space, I'm putting 80-inch Vizio television right here so i got raymore and flanagan coming and they're gonna put the kitchen table in a little bit later and then on top of that i've got tomorrow i gotta be back here because i've got uh ashley furniture coming they're gonna put a couch right there and then i have a second couch right here and once i see how that stuff fits i'm probably gonna put like a regular couch chair right here and then possibly like a little sitting table i'm gonna have like three little sitting tables you know for coffee or whatever but as you can see, I've been pretty freaking busy. I mean, setting up a house, especially if you're you're fully furnishing and fully populating a house, because I'm not taking any stuff from my old house, I'm keeping that stuff there. But I'm fully populating this place, and uh, I got a lot of work to do because I got drywall to put up and all that. But I'm gonna do that over time because right now it's winter, so it's a little bit too cold to do stuff right now. But I've got like four different rooms to set up. I've got dormering on the top of the house to raise the roof to do it's like i've got so much shit to get done and i'm just going to talk about it little by little post videos little by little but within two years i'd say uh i'd say i'm gonna have a fully furnished totally furnished house and youtube's gonna pay for it you know how donald trump says the mexicans gonna pay for it when i build a wall no i'm gonna fully furnish this house and youtube's gonna pay for so, it so this is the Verizon Files box. We've got two remotes here. We've got HDMI cable. Looks like high grade component cable. Okay, and then we've got a second HDMI cable. Verizon installation software. One small box. Which is weird, because I thought I told that bitch to give me two, whatever. Yeah, because that one will be easier to mount. 
because um, the thing about it is I have an Xbox, and this is the new um, cable box. I think this has a clock on it, because I can kind of see a digital LED readout. Whether it has a clock or not, I don't really worry about that, because I have enough clocks. And this is the Quantum Gateway router. So he's going to install all this. Yeah, don't let your children walk below my television. <laughs> you know, to value their lives. Okay, this wasn't too bad. Very sturdy, except for that one right there. Let's get this one in there. Don't you turn on me. Don't you turn on me. <coughs> okay, nice, professional. Okay, I'll tighten that one just a little bit more. Maybe even add, get nice and tight. You don't want my TV dropping on people. All right, so there's enough space. Yeah, this is gonna be a nice dining room. Little, little dining room television, nothing crazy. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, I'll take this. Okay, you know what? On second thought, I think the 32 inch that I got was $168. I think it was a little bit too small, and also it was only 720p. But um, right here, they also have, this one's like closer to $400. This was the 43 inch, and that one's a 4K model. But the thing about it is the Verizon boxes don't output at 4K, and I'm not hooking an Xbox to that one. So the 4K television will be the one that has the game systems on it, and the Verizon set-top box doesn't broadcast that high. This one right here, is a 1080p television, and uh, this one is $198, so it's $200. It's only about $30 more, but it's significantly larger than the 32. So this is the one I think I'm rather going to buy for that room, because this one I think has a better, more decent size to it, especially for, you know, for typical viewing for now. And I'm gonna take the 32 probably back. This one has Chromecast built in, and it also has, uh, it works with Alexa, but I'm not ever getting an Alexa. I don't want them having any of that stuff in my house, you know, where the government can tap into your phone lines and shit and listen to you. No, thank you. More components. Two HDMIs, one USB, one component, one composite, one TV tuner, stereo audio, digital audio out. And I'm guessing this has to have Wi-Fi because this is a smart television. So there you go. Now all I gotta do is just wait online. And while I'm waiting online, my God, they gotta open up more of these damn, and open up more of these damn things because there's only like, those people over there, there's only like a couple of things, but you know what, it's, what time is it? It is uh, 9.44, so apparently they don't feel it necessary to open up more lines. <sighs> so I just have to wait. Yep. That's Walmart in the morning. Let's see, they got anything else on sale? Uh, cans. Perrier water. I don't, I don't see anything else I need to buy while I'm here. Possibly get some Ethernet cable from the 99 cent store, but that's about it. Just open up more lanes. It's like we wouldn't have to wait so long. I mean, look at Ralphie right here. Ralphie is upset that he has to wait so long, and Ralphie's sitting there waiting for his Red Rider BB gun from Santa Claus. It's like, hey kid, you'll shoot your eye out. It's like you're not supposed to have a Red Ryder BB gun. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Doesn't that look like Ralphie? I think that's Ralphie right there. Ralphie says, yeah, Ma, I want a Red Ryder BB gun. And Mom is like, nah, kid, you'll shoot your eye out. It's like, yeah, I want a 1981 classic Red Ryder BB gun. You'll shoot your eye out. You got all that Reese's over there. Look how much Reese's. So much Reese's giving diabetes to one American at a time, right? 
Ralphie's got a smartphone now. Thank you. Oh, you know what? I'll just wait on this one. You can go to the next one. You know, I'll just wait on this one because I'm already next. It'll shoot dry out, kid. Yeah. yeah, I think this is going to be a really good model. I think this is going to be a good TV. And uh, I'll just take the other one back tomorrow. Because, I mean, for, you know, it's only $30 more. I mean, the price points on these things are ridiculous. I mean, a 32-inch is $168. And then a 40-inch is $200. $198. I mean, you know, the price points, it's so close. I mean, you might as well just spend the extra $30. I mean, you're getting, what? what is that, uh, seven more or six more inches of usable space? I mean, you might as well just spend the extra. Why not? makes more sense that way <sighs> yeah here's a little word for walmart hey guys if you would open just like a couple more lanes early on and in addition to your auto scanners we could make it possible to move people much 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 quicker now fortunately this guy just came and he opened up that's good but um you know we could have done this a little while ago you know it would have made it so much more faster and so much more efficient so basically when i get this thing set up i'm going to do a little review on it but i don't really think this is much different from my 50 inch it's basically the exact same technology so i'll definitely do a review on this d series 40 as soon as i get it set up so that's gonna just look forward to my review i'm gonna have that coming for you as soon as i get the thing set up on the wall it's gonna be big time legendary it's gonna be big time legendary so all you gotta do is just watch for that review and i'll do that as soon as as soon as i get the thing set up no problem okay so here you have a vizio d series 32 inch and this was um i believe this is only 720p so i decided hey just get the extra thirty dollars and go for the d series 40 inch so let's get this thing mounted on the wall. So that's the remote. These are the feet. And then, these are the feet. And this is the monitor. Get that out of there. So here we go. I've already perfectly leveled the uh, wall adapter. So basically, these are the mounts for these brackets for that wall adapter i also got the wall adapter from walmart and all you basically do is you choose which holes you want to use insides out so you choose which holes you want to use and then you just mount it this is not rocket science it's actually ter not terribly difficult as long as you're pretty decent with some tools so let's see these are my connections I've got an Ethernet port right here. I definitely will be plugging this directly to Ethernet. HDMI is obviously the best to use on a television because they don't offer display ports like monitors do. And then you got coax line for the cable box. So let's screw this in. Let's get this all mounted up. Walmart ONN wall mount is pretty good for any television that's 32 to 47. And I'm choosing to use the M6 kit, and they give you other bolts and screws depending upon the size of your television. So all you need is the M6, and you're good to mount those brackets on. All positions fully tightened and secured. So basically, with these um, O and N mounts, if you've never used one before, um, you hook the top of the television on with these hooks. And then, if you ever need to take this thing off of the wall, there are these straps, and when you pull the strap, it detaches the hook. So, it's relatively simple to do. It's not difficult. So, the only thing I have to do is I have to um, route my power wire against the wall. And I'm probably going to, for the time being, I'm probably going to mount a, um, a cable box uh, holder probably directly above the television, but I'm going to try to figure that out because the thing about it is you can create small shelves right here against this wall 
But, um, you know, this is going to be a dining room anyway, so I'm going to be changing the entire dimensions of this room around. I'll tell you, being a real estate developer and investor, it's got its perks. I, I have a lot of enjoyment doing stuff like this, as you can tell, because most people will be like, oh, you know what, let me just pay somebody and let them do it. As I do more and more, I learn more and more. And um, at first, this stuff looks intimidating. Just like putting that chair together. But it's really not. It's really not. It's like practice makes perfect, you know? The tilt mechanism has these uh, tri-screws right there, those tri-thumb screws. That makes it so that you can tilt the television to your desire. I prefer it. This tilt is just fine by me. So all you got to do, visually inspect, make sure the latches have fully caught on. They both have. And just in case you ever want again take it off the wall you just pull these and that detaches it makes it so you can pick it up and you can pull it off the wall so you know i've got white walls so black furniture you know and blue furniture and colors and accents because i'm gonna put some accent chairs like some little accent chairs like you'd see in a hotel one little table another one and uh you know once I decide to move all this stuff upstairs, once the upstairs dormering is done, you know, then it'll be, uh, it'll be so much nicer. And then I'm just going to put a dining room table here. I've got like a nice little, uh, you know, it's, it's small, it's, it's really small stuff. I mean, this is not a terribly huge place, but the thing about it is the value is already increased according to the, uh, what is it called? The, um, appraisal. So basically so far so good. Now this is the ONN matching six inch top tv shelf now obviously everybody has so much respect for apple products that they design everything around apple products but this is going to be for my smallest uh cable box so what i did was i set it up and all it has on it is this leg that has this clamp so basically when it sits on top it rests against the back of the television. It's very simple to set up because there's no tools required. However, my recommendation is that you use twist ties or you use some type of tie down in order to tie your box to this. So this way, when you position it towards the center of the television, you can put your box right on top of your television. This does not obviously require you to set up any shelves if you don't want to set up any shelves. And you've got good positioning right there and it's very low profile so um looks pretty good and you know it's funny now the more and more i look at this i could have just put a 50 inch television up here which i still could because i have a 50 inch television and then i also have an 80 inch television so the 80 inch television is going to be for the living room the 50 inch television i was going to put in my basement or i'll take it upstairs to after the dorm ring's done and uh, I'll move the bedroom upstairs. I'll use the 50 for the bedroom and I'll use this one for this dining room because it doesn't really have to be too big. But um, that mount fits everything. And you're talking about a $200 television. Like $200 isn't that much when you're talking about, you know, having a nice TV and everything. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide those cables and I'll hide the uh, wires as much as I can. So I'm going to have a white coaxial wire running up the wall and I have sockets and I'll have sock. I have a socket solution that I'm gonna set up too. So I'll have like probably a white extension cord, so this way you don't even notice it. Okay, so here they are coming with the appliances. So I got the washer and the dryer coming on down, and we're just trying to figure out exactly how they want to move this stuff in. So we'll see about that in a little while. Okay, so we're about three hours in. The uh, quantum gateway router is up, running. This is the Verizon Tech stuff right here. I took the television down just so I could get behind there and also kind of so I could test the um, mount kit for uh, the TV. And um, it comes off really easy. All you have to do is just pull those two straps and the whole thing just lifts right off. It's a really great mounting kit and I feel comfortable using it. And I also feel comfortable uh, if I ever had to do this again, which I probably will. And there's a hole in that wall right there so that uh, I can run um, coax line into uh, the 80 inch television. I'm gonna clean up the wiring later. Just testing out the TV.
cancel push and hold input. Where's the input button? Uh, okay. Hmm. On the back of panel, I'll push input button on the remote. Okay, and then push English. English. Home use. Cafe. Yeah, don't you just love these things? Okay. Now I just have to connect the network. Oh, the opposite. They took it away. Took it away. What happened? Took it away when I was, uh... Oh. He was bugging me about... He downloaded something, so he didn't work and died. His Wi-Fi is working on TV. Alright. It wasn't... Wouldn't have downloaded anything. Okay, so after a very long restart session, the television is restarting itself. These are the new Vizio remotes. They're very, very simplistic. Unfortunately, they don't have backlights. That's a little bit of a disappointment. What you can see is that uh, they have the buttons for Vudu, Netflix, Amazon, Shumo, I don't know what those are, Crackle, iHeartRadio, something I don't use. I only use SiriusXM. But, um, you know, it's as simple as they could get. They gave you, you know, it's just a simple startup bit remote, basically. But I guess they assume that anybody who buys one of these televisions is going to have the Fios remote. They're going to be using a Fios set-top box like this. So, basically, let's see. Still some master for right now. It's bedroom. Okay. And um, basically, we'll, you know, first of all, I mean, this is a... You, you see these little set-top boxes? One thing that people need to understand about 4K television, this is my installation until I get some twist ties and I tighten this shit up. One thing that people need to understand about these uh, little set-top boxes that you get with cable and uh, even Verizon, these things aren't really giving you full, like real 4K. They're upscaling, right? Uh, set up local channels. Um, no, I don't need to do that. Just push skip. Because I got a set-top box. I don't need local channels. Terms of service? Well, you know, nobody reads any of that stuff. Except all. Yeah, sign my soul over to Satan. Nobody reads any of this stuff. Okay, yep, I'm not... Smart cast policy? I don't know what that shit means. Next, register. Get VIP access. All you gotta do is enter your email. Let me Congratulations, do you can start streaming your favorite shows iHeartRadio, Hulu. Hulu used to be free, and I'm never bothering with them ever again. They used to be totally free. I remember when you could go on Hulu and watch all types of cartoons and everything. It says, what do you want to do, start watching? Yeah, might as well, but I'm going to start watching my Fios. My Verizon Fios, please. Okay, so let's get this bastard booted up and ready. Okay, I think uh, the Fios guide should be ready to run. Because, uh, you know, that I mean, it's good to have a smart TV, but, you know, the thing about smart TVs is you absolutely must connect these things using uh, Ethernet, which is something I'm going to have to run later on. And I'll run Ethernet through the wall when I hide these cables, because for right now, this is all temporary. Um, yeah, go ahead, accept. I don't know what any of this shit is, and I really don't care. So, um, I think this stuff is all within... The actual, um, this, all of these things are within the actual television itself. So, you know, um, picture quality is crisp. Let me turn the light off. Picture quality is crisp and clean. But you know what? Most of these televisions, people pretty much already understand. These televisions are, I mean, you, you're, you're getting, uh oh, closed captions. I want to turn that off. All right, so, yeah, I mean, when you've got a 1080p or a 4K television, especially, you know, 4K, unless you're really sitting right next to the damn thing, it's like you probably wouldn't even notice. So, how about input? Let's change the input to HDMI1. In fact, you know what? Let me talk 
a little bit just about what they have, the features for this television, since that's probably what somebody's going to say. They're like, oh, this isn't a review. You didn't even talk about the stuff in the television. Okay. We've got YouTube, and we're going to also check out these speakers. So we got YouTube, YouTube TV. Okay. In fact, let me lay down in my king-sized memory foam bed while I do this review. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let me just get comfortable. And set this bastard up. Okay. Sign in for the best YouTube experience. Let me sign in. Let me sign this in. Waited it. We've got uh, some videos that pop right up because I'm on my account. Got Doug DeMuro here. Let me see if there's anything that has a decent amount of uh, sound so that this way... Let's see, the problem is I can't show you certain things because it'll say that I've violated the censorship or some shit. And if it does that, then, you know, it's going to disallow me monetization. So I can't have that. You know, the picture quality is exactly what I expect. You know, this is a nice, inexpensive $200 40-inch. The uh, I think the 50-inch was like 3-something. I think it was like 398 or something. But um, once again, you know, for this room, for right now, it's like this size is just fine. Because I, I also, you know, the last couple of reviews I did, I had, you know, a 50-inch, which I could always take these brackets and I could replace on the back. But, um, let me see, is there anything I can watch? Anything of mine I can watch? I don't know. Oh, this uh, chair review where I was setting up the chair in 1080p. This was the guy, this video right here, I watched this guy's video and he showed me basically when I watched his video how I was supposed to uh, set up the uh, brackets for this mount. Now, um, I'm pretty sure if he saw my shitty setup, he'd probably be angry at me because he'd be like, oh yeah, you were supposed to hide the wires. You are supposed to use the back wall drops and this, that, and other. But this guy's obviously a super pro and all that. But um, let's test these uh, speakers just a little. Drill to, uh, drill, the larger drills to drill the fastener holes, uh, screwdrivers, the plate that goes on the wall and the arm that hangs on the TV. Okay, the so about 50 should be enough the for and then I'm gonna mount this plate uh, on the wall. for like a living room setting or dining room setting. And That's if you want a television in your dining room. Yeah. Um, I prefer to do this with a screwdriver. Um, you know, some guys use power tools, but... That's I right, I use power tools. tools. Let me push back. Let me see if I can go back, see something else. We've got demonology over here my black friday video um so yeah i mean you know there, there's nothing you know I, I already know exactly what to expect with a vizio television that's why i like buying the brand so much okay yeah the sound is pretty good e sound is pretty good even without a sound bar is the first snow of 2018 here in New York City. But because I got my Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT, I am completely ready for the snow. Okay, so you, so, I think you get the point. Okay, so anyway, YouTube works just fine. And to tell you the God's honest truth, that's the only app I actually care about. Because the uh, rest of them really don't, you know, give me much in returns as far as I'm concerned. So, um, basically, it's too bad there's not a YouTube button right here. But uh, that's just how these televisions go. They don't want to have to pay the extra for the, uh, what is it called, for the uh, advertising. So, it's straightforward. The remote is a cheap remote. It's not backlit. So, that means you can't see it in the dark. So now all I got to do is I can uh, change my input from SmartCast to HDMI, what is it? I think I put my thing, I put the, I put the Verizon box in HDMI 1. Uh, it's HDMI 1. So I think they changed the name to IPC10, whatever. Okay, so then I got to Okay, so then I got to use the Verizon remote and uh, activate files. Press files for your remote to launch channel 131, or you can just go straight to live television. 
Yeah, I mean, there's no, there's really no surprises in this. It's like, this is exactly what I expect. That's one thing I really do love about Vizio. I like their brand of television. Like uh, LG, as I was showing you before, they were selling a 75 inch for only like 949, and they were selling a 70 inch for like um, 849, and then Vizio at Target had a 70 inch for 749 at Target, which means that the average price on all of these televisions has dropped considerably. So um, let's just go straight to live television, and uh, maybe I'll go straight to like the news, just to see what's on. What's, who, who's dead today? It's President George W. Bush. Read my lips. No new taxes. Read my lips. Okay, so that seems to be headline news today. Yeah, I'm really glad that I chose the 40 over the 32 because to tell you the truth, the 32 is probably in the long run going to be too small. So that's go that'll go back to Walmart. If I for the $30 extra, I could if I really wanted replace that television with another 40 inch because um, you know, if the 50 is a 300 plus like 358 or 368 or whatever and I've already got one it doesn't really make sense to rebuy that. So I'll just have a couple of different size televisions in different rooms. So uh, basically, I mean, there's really not much other than this to say about these Verizon televisions. I've reviewed so many of these things. I mean, they look great. They have slim bezels. Um, the energy guy said that this thing should cost you about $8 in a year. Um, so that's about the average cost, but I don't really watch a whole lot of television. Actually, my girlfriend, she likes to watch television and, uh, I'm pretty sure this cable box right here. Oh, and this one even has a clock. That's great. Cause, um, you know, sometimes you don't get the clock on these things, but, um, my girlfriend watches more televisions than I do, but, um, I love the design of their televisions, you know, I really do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some twist ties, some cheap twist ties, and I'm going to go back here and fix up my cable management. But other than that, that's it. So if you have any specific questions about this television, feel free to ask me about them. i got to get my computer and bring my computer here. But, uh, if you have any very specific questions, just feel free to ask, and you can just put it in the comments bar, and I'll be sure to try to answer it as soon as I can.